Hi guys, we are here with this Kenmore all metal, beautiful. They are a treasure. If you have one of the Kenmores, is putting just to maintenance there. This is what I do with many machines. Subscribe to my channel. You can see many machines i clean already mountains i start to vacuum them and they working really well it's really a treasure in whatever home you get a machine like this this case is about the kenmore one series 158 it's important to know the series 158 is the old machine, vintage. It's 158, 1336. They have many numbers here, continue. But for the beginners, uh, the fans of these Kenmore, remember for you to find things for them, owner manuals, things like that, uh, online and free, you just can go by 158, and the number one three three six is the four digitals there if you look in that in that way with the four numbers here you can find more easy what you want for these machines well this is a few difference how i did with another one i showed you already in this case since there are some difference, I'm going to show you for day display. Use your, with your hand, left hand and pull to the left. And a coming, or you get a free arm. This is the call fit. Feed dog. This in all those machines, there are others having here the name. And here say feed. There are two buttons in the base. This the function for this is to you see this is the feeds here. Well, when you do that, suppose this need to go down. That not happen in my and this I go in two feet. God help, God help us because always when I do what I do, always put in the God's hands to give me understanding. And I hope you guys and your homes do the same in the God's hands because this is a beautiful hobby. All we had and it's good if we doing this by ourselves. So I want to try to fix this part and got his hands. But for now, we can check in how cleaning. So this one, you open here, the face. You don't do the other series 158, you just put the a screwdriver here and pull in this case no in this case in the top had two screws i already on a screw use whatever screwdriver or use the one for head moves. okay take that part and you see i know always they need to be cleaning so we're going to start a little vacuum. If you don't like the noise for the vacuum, you just turn off the volume. It's a little bit.
ready when the machine is cleaning don't, because you don't want to put the oil before cleaning okay the oil need to be after you clean it I use this and check him for example there are here a can you see this one is already black the idea is that get without that old grease for years because we're going to put a new grease it is so complicated to do that just like that you want to use alcohol use a little put in your hands this is I do that always for no use a lot no that means to use a lot you just pass like this and go there and move the hand well with your right hand to trying to reach all that bar is with a lot of all oil it's amazing how these machines without mind things they work for years and imagine it's like a, sometimes 20 years 30 years and they working really good see because this black grease is not good for the machine so doing the game until you're going to get your part there like a it's the one is move the cans then you need to be really lubricate after cleaning Well, see, it's like how we need to use hmm. we need to use something go through the a brush because you know, can go Cleaning a brush. Because the alcohol there is held to remove that old grease. In again until you see all that all grease is gone. something to do to dry very well because they need to be dry before you put the the new grease
Okay. Ready, guys? Well, now because we are in a video, I need, I trying to be more fast to show you this. But it's really important you to wait for this thing be dry. Okay. Now, another important thing for now is showing you I use this little panty house that for pass over the tension this this has to clean it be soft no rush just go through that this and clean it this is the way The points for you to put the oil. Also, I'm going to let you in the description the owner manual for this one. 1336 is I'm going to get let the address for the website when you can download the owner manual for free. You don't need to pay for that. You just need that for see the points where you're going to put the oil. So you are in here and we're going to put the oil. Let's see me can show you. This part. This is one. It's don't put a lot. This one. You see how on that thing move? This is what need the oil. They start to sound a little different because these machines lie when we clean in them. Really, it's immediately you can really hear like at the base of them. Now, in this part is under the this, but you can see there something move over there. It's exactly this there there you see how move you see that part between the two put oil trying to no mess with the camera for you to see Middle there.
It's not a lot. Remember, it's just like a drop of oil when you see going there. You move the machine, move with the hand well, move with the right hand, the hand well to make that oil blender. Now, here, the one we already cleaning, say it's like a, a roll. I put in that part, I prefer to put no oil, but grease. This kind of grease. This is working very well with the machines. So, there's no a lot. This amount. More than enough. Going there. And. With the hand well, rotate, rotate, whatever direction you want, but forward you, you want the hand well, move. Okay, ready? Now on the other point, this is just, this is an old machine, not thinking it's just for the Kenmore's, but I realize how old this machine I had is this part of the deal. It's really important in all the machines for you to oil. One row this part and move the machine okay if you see when more that the a little more trying to clean him because for the years they can be uh, get like a no good by the years when the oil is there, just without the nothing. Okay, now in this side, after you cleaning, These machines are forever, really, yeah, and I like how cleaning these and Janomans, the ones made in Japan, I tell you, they are so easy to clean, and they are so grateful when we're cleaning. Now, for see this part. The parts is move like this. You see, I put a roll here that work for all the machines. All the machines, I know. When you do that, they are really work better here. When you see all is metal with metal, it's like a key when you can put oil. There are some go. Outside, you can clean in. Going over here. Over this one. Over 
this one just one don't go in more than that in this part because I can go down and you create maybe a mess sitting here and you see over here there too Move that power. Even the manual doesn't say I like to put a little oil over the corner when it's the dial or change the stitches. It's because throughout the years that can get really dry. So there are a uh, well over here when you can put a little oil when you move the dial here in the top you see all the mechanism is more you can put just one row oil here going to be more soft let's just that okay now since all this part is ready we can go to the bottom of the machine. I hope guys, we have the time to continue. This is don't let me do in a lot of time. Um, okay. I can put this after, you know how good it's just like that. Nothing different. Trying to clean in this part too, the part of the, of the bottom of here, the top. This one is the, it's more friendly when you see how the problems with it. Well, that need to be vacuum too. But also, if you have a problems with the bobbin winding, you can put a draw oil here, and like on the base of the pin. There, in the base of the pin. I don't do right now because it's more friendly. But it's when it's no more, when you see this little thing is no more, a little draw oil here. But first, cleaning very well. Okay, now going for the button. Button of the machine. I put something here. We're going to be down. We're going to put the machine down and bed. Go to bed like that. Exactly. I already opened this, and I tell you, it's a little top to take off this part. So this go like this. No, this is for the bobbin. The 
the small part or the tiny go in this part where is the bobbin go like that and the thin is this is the way how go. the screws you're going to take off is one two three they had this side is the smaller the smaller ones one two three don't go in throw this one in the corners because this is used for establish the machine so remember one two and three this is the three and now the two ones here this no need to move please I find sometimes machines without this one, but this one is not for open the button. This one is for sustain this, this cover. So use you going to do the big one going here and the small one going here. Okay, it's all. They had some little washers. Wash, don't throw that. Uh, is the idea but if you don't have the washer it's okay can be done in that way the big one here and the small one here here in the top not the little one here okay this is more for put oil we need to open for see what happened with the feed dogs normally i see that it fits but oil now when you take out your screws really important this point Please pay attention because you're going to start to move your your button base, the base of the machine. So when you start to move this part, you move all the part with the two hands there and move and move. When there are a thing here. really top this part is because you don't want to damage the machine is how put this part this part outside without damage this little because this go between in here so for do that you need to really careful and pressure in this corner pressure there and pull down okay this is the way but you don't need to take more screws this is all they need to be cleaning too you see and now we're going to see this part important in here you see how beautiful machine is all is in metal it's beautiful this part well for doing this i just i wanted to show you the cover but suppose this need to be tail off but move these two but first excuse me we're going to take the bobbin bobbin case it's because I had this like that down uh, bobbin case bobbin they this when you're going to take this too you need to see the the needle need to be up also the needle don't need to be there but I am careful to do that when when it's up you can just take the the like uh, the mechanism for the bobbin just pull these two upside the black ones take this what is the way how go you see the little part here that go always like that when you're going to put this little notch here 
go in this notion. So you don't going to get worrying about this. It's easy to put. Now, this one and many of the machines, the vertical bobbin and take this half of the moon. This half of the moon. How would you find? You find like that, you're going to put in the same way. You see? The same way. And after you can put this like that. And after you're going to close this too. This is the way. For many machines had the this part of the bobbin and vertical one. Tail and tail. When you are there without the half of the moon and without this, you no worry, you can move the hand well and check it how move. It's okay. But don't forget when you're going to put this again, you're going to let this other half of the moon like that. How you know what is what? You check in how move. You see this part in here? And the other part go here. Forget the space for the other part to move. Okay? It's that. And now, this other part, really important to clean and put grease, is this part. By the years, depends where is the machine and things like that. You can open the black box by contact. The black box had grease and it really the lie of the machine too about the mechanism for the bobbin. So you open this. And you're going to find grease there. We're going to see if the grease is good or no. When the grease is not good, it's like a black. It is the black. You don't want that in your machine. You want to change that, that grease. Open. Huh. Almost there are no grease. If there are no grease, it's dangerous for the machine. So we're going to put grease, this grease, over there, there, and pull a lara. Doesn't matter, this is the wash, washer there. So you're going to put a lara grease there. Lara. You can move to check in. You see? Poor, cheers, thirsty. <laughs> Just, just put a lot of, trying to pull all the grease over there. And since like uh, there are not too much time to continue, you see, there are also these things there. Hmm. I can vacuum too, okay? So vacuum, cleaning, and put the grease and see you in the second part all these Kenmore's mountains Kenmore's thank you guys god bless you thank you for watch my channel and see you for the second part of these beautiful machines Kenmore's god bless you guys I continue please pray for the world bye